Hi, good morning. Um, I'm Danette Breitenbach. We're here with Musa Kaleha from NetBank. Hi, we're at the NetBank Digital Edge Live 2014. Please tell us, um, NetBank is the key sponsor of this event. Why is it important that NetBank gets involved in these type of events? Well, I think for two reasons. Um, this is our second year as the key sponsor, and last year we were involved because we wanted to get into the conversation around how to push customer centricity forward as a bank. I think as an organization, um, we've got a strategy around uh, Fair Share 2030, and that critically involves us being able to understand how individuals uh, will evolve and how our business should evolve around them. So for NetBank, it's important to be part of the conversation, um, but also to be able to bring the digital fraternity as far as members of the community into the conversation and add value um, as a sponsor and as someone giving back into the community. That's great. How does the theme, Go Do Good, fit in with that and fit in with the what the case scenario you've just described for NetBank going forward? I think we believe fundamentally that our business is, is more and more going to be about people and the communities that they live in. Um, doing good is going to be a fundamental way of being able to differentiate, um, but more and more you won't be able to separate it from making profits. So um, the traditional way of thinking is that profit and, and doing good generally sit separately. Um, and we believe that uh, by 2030, um, Fair Share will fully acknowledge that uh, doing good is going to be an integral part of our business strategy. And as such, being able to empower the people within the community will be important. Um, we understand that um, without a thriving community and thriving people, um, our business will also be, will, will be under jeopardy. Um, so for us, being able to be part of that conversation early um, gives us a strategic advantage. But I think it's also a clear signal to the market of our intention um, to focus entirely on the, on the consumer as our, as our primary audience. Given that focus on the consumer, you've had a very successful um, campaign with Eugene yes. um, and he has brought you a lot of market share and awareness um, with some other banks that you've competed with. How has that helped your brand become perceived as a more, um, for all South Africans, than previously where it was seen as more of an elite brand? So I think for us it's, it's a journey uh, and I think Eugene um, as kind of an associated icon for the brand um, number one gives it a bit of personality um, and as you know a bank is not necessarily the friendliest uh, institution um, so being able to be associated with an individual like Eugene um, gives us a bit of personality and when you have personality you're more relatable when you're more relatable there is more of a chance of you being able to create a relationship with the consumers um, as you've mentioned um, we've been obviously on a journey to try and um, kind of I wouldn't say shed um, but evolve our perception as being an elite bank um, and he's been, he's, been a, he's been a key part of that. I think uh, there's been a lot of uptake in, during the savvy campaigns and um, there's been a generally wonderful response and I think we've seen some groundswell. Um, so initially it started out and we were kind of like oh is this going to work is it not um, but we've seen over the last 18 to 24 months that there's been a wonderful reception from um, the South African market um, and for us it's been a testament to trying to take a few chances um, and trying to put yourself out there and trying to do different things in order to appeal to consumers. That's great. Well, I've just been quite enjoying Eugene and Fantastic. his money babies. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> Have a good conference. Thank you.